Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again. Thank you for joining me today on another episode of I Care. Wanting you to know that the living God is for you always. And he promises to help you in a time of need. He promises that he will again never, ever leave you, nor will he ever forsake you because he cares mightily for you. He says again to us to cast all of our care upon him. Why? Because he cares for us. Get this in your mind. Get this in your heart. He tells us to cast our cares upon him because he intends to do something about it. Our place is to cast it and leave it with him. Hallelujah. Don't cast it and reel in so fast because you don't feel a bite. You just bring it in an empty hook. Let the Lord do what he said he's going to do by casting it and watch. Don't even pull it back in. Leave it with him because he's got it and he's got you. Amen. Glory to God. I want to say this with you because, again, we're talking about living a supernatural life. And so I talked to you, I said, mentioned to you briefly about the fact that God is a God that's sovereign. He's sovereign over all he has created. So God is the one that he gives us instruction. He directs us. Amen. And now watch this. God's sovereignty is the rule without external control. In other words, nobody outside can rule or control God. It's just like the United States. United States is a, is a sovereign nation. So that means Russia or China or, or nobody else can make rules in this nation because it's a sovereign nation. Amen? So God is a sovereign God, and therefore we cannot make rules for him. Hallelujah. We have no authority to change his word. We have to accept his word and recognize his word is a supernatural word that will do great things in our lives. One of the things I hear people sometimes say, well, the scripture don't work, the Bible doesn't work. It works when you use it. Thought I'd let you know that. Praise the name of the Lord. But God is sovereign. So one recognize this. God is not your errand boy. He don't just jump at your request. Amen. But God is a sovereign God that deals with your challenges in life and will assist you through them all. Hallelujah to the Lamb. But he's going to do it his way. Not yours, unless your way is his way. Glory to God. Now, your life, let me say this about your life. Your very life, your very life is not a trip. You are in your life is not intended to be a short trip, but your life is a journey. And every day you continue with the journey of your life. In other words, life is not intended to make short jump, uh, dashes and then stop. Make another dash and then stop. Know your life is created to continue on and on and on with the will of the living God. Amen. Now, God, again, does the impossible for us. He does what? He does the impossible for us. And so he will put you in position, watch this, to be able to walk in the impossible. Remember what the word of God declared, hallelujah, that there's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. God is still the miracle God, and he still does miracles today. We are the people of God, and we have his spirit dwelling in us. And so therefore, he empowers us to be able to do signs and wonders. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Now, one of the things that I want you to recognize when it comes to the word of God, and it comes to uh, where, where the word is going to do impossible things, the word is looking for somebody that's full of him, full of the word. Hallelujah. He's not looking for somebody just standing by, doing nothing to work miracles. You have to engage yourself in the things of God that God might be able to do for you the things that he desires to do for you. He's a supernatural God. He's a not a natural God. And he's looking for a supernatural people that will give him the glory and give him the honor. That's what he's looking for. Remember what the scripture says? The father is, the, the, is looking for true worshipers who will worship him, watch this, in spirit, spiritually. Amen? Spiritually. So guess what? If they are true worshipers, they can also be false worshipers. Amen. If there are true believers, there can also be false believers. What I mean, what I mean by that? 
some of us are simply going through the motion of being believers. But is the depth of your heart filled with the living God? That's what he desires. That's what he wants for you. So that the supernatural power that he has in you can come up out of you and accomplish great things in life. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh God, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted. I want you to look at Matthew, the 19th chapter with me, please. Matthew. Now watch what this says in Matthew chapter 19. And I want you to look with me at the 26th verse. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You ready? But Jesus said, but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Let me try that one more time. Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Glory to his name. Why? Because he's a supernatural God. And he has made you a spiritual, supernatural person. So I would like to read it like this. Whatever your name is, I want you to just read that with me and put your name there. It says, but Jesus beheld Patrick and said unto Patrick, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So whatever your name is, he's talking to you. Place your name there. That it might encourage you, that it might strengthen you to see that you are not in a situation that cannot be solved. There's no such thing as an unsolvable situation or challenge. Just like there's no such thing as an incurable disease, incurable sickness. Men declare that. But God says all things are possible to them that believe. Question Do you believe? You believe the supernatural is available to you. Always, always, always. I want you to know I care. <laughs>